With all of those really fun holiday plans for your Labor Day weekend, we want to check in with meteorologist Kyle Grager, keeping an eye on that forecast. Hey, good morning to you and to everyone at home. It is 515. Saturday is on the way. Yes, one more day of work. Maybe you took an early weekend, but if we're enjoying Friday, we're enjoying mostly sunny skies. We'll see some of those spotty storms that pop up here in the afternoon. We'll give you the timeline coming up in just a few minutes. There's downtown Knoxville a lot quieter than when we were down celebrating the game last night. We're about a mile and a half in parts of Sevier County right now. Knoxville over the Morristown up to La Follette looking pretty good this morning at that 10 miles range. 66 for my friends in Kingston. Good morning to Oak Ridge at 68. 69 in Knoxville to 62 at my house in Pigeon Forge. How about 66 for Washburn to Morristown? 61 Sneedville to 63 in Williamsburg. So we've got a couple of clouds that are moving through this morning. These will kind of build as we move into the afternoon. So the clouds will be more with us uh, for the evening and that leads to some of those spotty the stray uh, rain chances that we have. And you see here on this Friday by 10 we're at 77. So warming very quickly up to 85 at noon, 91 for the four o'clock hour and we've got that 20% coverage there for you for those stray storms that will manage to pop up here and you see some of those on the future cast with a few more of those clouds that we have uh, for the afternoon including the four o'clock hour where a couple of storms for uh, West Knox County 91 Knoxville to 91 over into uh, Maryville Farragut 90 for Loudon to 89 in Kingston. How about 86 for Jamestown 84 Crossville 86 for Warkburg. Good afternoon to Jellicoe at 86, 89 for La Follette, 88 Tazewell to 89 Middlesboro, finally back over into the mountains. Greenville checks in at 88, 90 for Newport, and if you're rafting this afternoon, Hartford checks in at 86 degrees. We wake up for our Saturday morning. I'll be back with you once again, checking in right at around 69 degrees, so a warm start to the day coming up on Saturday. And Saturday, once again, we'll add into the mix a couple of stray to spotty storms, and that's what's going to greet us out on area lakes as we move into the afternoon hours around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We're sitting at 86, but we'll have to dodge some of those storms that pop up and move over our area. Smooth waters otherwise as we roll through our Saturday. You see here the 11 o'clock hour. Maybe it's just a couple of stray rain chances that we already have. Here come some of the heavier pop ups that we have in the 2 o'clock hour. Rolling out of the mountains and into the valley. You can see here in and around Alcoa for the uh, 430 hour parts of Crossville, Cumberland County as well, seeing some of those spotty pop up storms that stay with us right on through the evening as well. So we're looking at uh, some of those rain chances that do stay with us into the evening hours of our Saturday as well. But it becomes more widespread when we get into our Sunday into Monday. More scattered rain opportunities will be with us and then we dry it back out here that you're going to see in the extended forecast rolling right on into next week. So. Sunday into Monday, we've got 40% coverage for you with scattered storms. Numbers are pulling back a little bit too, back into the mid 80s to low 80s by the time we get into our Monday afternoon, staying very close to 70. And here's the extended forecast for you, a lot drier moving into next week as we uh, fall back into the mid 80s for afternoon highs. So those 90s are gone. It feels a little more comfortable, even though we have some of that humidity that stays with us.